How's it going, everybody? Sean Allen here. Well, today is kind of a sad day because today, when I'm recording this video, it's March 27th, 2020. Why is that so sad? Well, because for those of you who don't know, today would have been the official grand opening day for Secret Life of Pets off the leash at Universal Studios Hollywood. With everything that's been going on right now in the world, Universal Studios Hollywood had to temporarily close a few weeks ago. And unfortunately, that meant having to postpone a lot of different events like Universal Runs, some other special events, including the grand opening ceremony for Secret Life of Pets off the leash. So in honor of grand opening day, I decided to basically go through all of my videos from the last three years of doing these construction updates and give you guys a glimpse as to what it was like before Secret Life of Pets was officially here and even go through the whole scene by scene look of how it was constructed. We're gonna start off with the Globe Theater. Big announcement about Globe Theater. It is closing in July. I think it's July 1st. That you'll be closing the Globe Theater. It is official. What's gonna be in this place? You never know, but Globe Theater will be closing to make way for something different over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So I had the privilege of working here yesterday at the Globe Theater for a special event, and it was very interesting. It's unlike anything I've ever done before, but yeah, I actually got a chance to be right behind these barricades here, and I kept watch over the crowds, making sure nobody got in, that they shouldn't have gotten in. It's really interesting. So. I can now say I've worked at the Globe Theater before it closed. <laughs> that was pretty cool. But on July 1st, this will be closing, so next week will be like its last week. Well, this is sad, folks, because today is the last day for the Globe Theater. Tomorrow, it's going to be closed forever. Oh my goodness. Look at the destruction from the Globe Theater. You can kind of see the inside of it now. Yikes. Wow. That is crazy. There's the front facade of the Globe Theater. It's pretty crazy thing. It looks like a full building right here, but on the other side, it's completely destroyed. Wow. The Walking Dead attraction without the helicopter. And here we have the space where the former Globe Theater used to be. The section that we we're looking at would have been the entrance to the Globe Theater. Wow, look at that. You can actually see the side of the building right there. See that? That would have been the side, one of the sides of the Globe Theater. There's like a whole section of the front that's just laying on its side right now. Let me see if I can back up a little bit and see if I can get a better shot. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. This would have been the area where they would put all the letters saying welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of LA. Or if they have a special event, they would put the letters up there saying the name of the group that had the special private event inside the theater. Wow. Here's a view as to what's going on right now. Right in the direction we're looking at is where the entrance to the Globe Theater used to be. They're right now taking away the whole foundation. They're breaking it all up. They're going to be putting something else in its place. It's either going to be another attraction or a shopping and dining experience. We will see, but man, they are hard at work over there. The whole area here is blocked off. I did not see this. Are you kidding me? This whole area is blocked off now. So you can't even see that uh, special little like um, telephone booth. You know, like the one that uh, Superman comes out of. We got this machine work going on over here. Along the wall, that is where Walking Dead is. The two pillars are right over there. We have a better view of that on the other side. In fact, let's go there right now. On the back side here are these two pillars right here. And we got this machine work going on right here. How much construction work? Well, Here's an idea. Look at that. That is amazing. Remember the last time when the Globe Theater was here? Yep. This is a huge building. Of course, this is all will be forced perspective, but still. 
This is gonna be big. I want to keep an eye on this section right here that's facing towards Despicable Me, Many a Mayhem, just the way it looks. Just to get a bigger perspective here. And also get a thumbnail for my sub thumbnail. Here's what it looks like from the Frankenstein parking structure. After close examination of this side, this looks like it might be an entrance right here. Because if you look at the way it's constructed, this looks like an entryway right there. As you can see, they are starting to get started on putting an actual roof on here at some point. They got scaffolding and everything ready to go here. They got some ladders up here, so they are hard at work. Sorry, I'm doing the best I can with the lens, but it is what it is. So anyways, here's the construction from this side by Despicable Me, Mini and Mayhem. As you can see, we're still getting a lot of construction work. We, I'd say a good half of this building now has a roof, which is awesome. Oh, looks like they actually have the pathway open for the restrooms open. Nope, the pathway for the restrooms is still blocked. All right, so we now switch locations. We're now next to Despicable Me, Mini and Mayhem. The wall is starting to go up on this side, or at least one side of the building. It's over here. This is that wall I was referring to. They're just now putting up the steel beams right now along the side. This side of the building is now starting to get a wall. It looks like they got the entire roof on now. Yeah, by judging by the looks of the Walking Dead attraction, we're probably not going to see the crashed helicopter because that's too narrow of an area for the helicopter to be. It looks like we are getting more scaffolding along the right-hand side of the building. A lot more scaffolding. Still watching these two pillars here. If you look at it like this, it looks like the head of Batman. You think about it. <laughs> more progress has been made on the back side here. We have two doors now instead of one. These doors can be used for stuff like for backstage purposes, removing stuff from either an attraction or bringing in merchandise. Yeah, this side is actually getting done first. Here's the progress of the construction work going on right now between Despicable Me and The Walking Dead. They got this whole area with scaffolding, as you can see. Looks like they're gonna start building a facade here very soon. We zoom in more towards the interior here. You'll see there are a bunch of walls and stuff in here. So here's what it looks like from the front. Obviously, they got more scaffolding in the front. They're gonna be building an exterior here, as you can see, very, very soon. So obviously, they don't want anybody seeing what it looks like at the moment, but you can kind of see a little bit of the structure work inside. Whoa, the first thing I see as I turn the corner here is this gigantic crane here in the middle of Baker Street. Here's what it looks like from the front. We've got a light out here because they're doing some construction work out in the very front here. This whole building has now been scrimmed, so obviously they don't want us to see what's going on on the other side. But you can kind of see that they are building what looks like a wall here in the front. I'm still watching the top here because they're obviously going to be putting something in here. This has now been confirmed. This is going to be the new Seeker Life of Pets attraction. So stay tuned for more updates about this attraction. So this is what it looks like from the back side before you enter the park. I do not know if this whole area will be themed or not. Perhaps. We've got the two doors there. There might be something going up here on the very top because they're blocking that area up for some reason. Seeker Life of Pets. Off the leash, new ride coming 2020. Okay, there is something going up here on the top. You see this little arch right here. This is gonna be a gigantic building, guys. Probably the size of maybe a little bit bigger than Globe Theater because it is extended outward a little bit. Looks like they're doing some painting on the side. That is awesome right there. And it looks like there's going to be windows right in the very front here. The theming is already going into play right now. You can actually see some detail work going on. Yes, there is something being built right up there. Yep, it is coming along, guys. Check out the detail work over here on this side. You can see little windows over here. This is going to look way different from, shall we say, London, because this is supposed to be London over here to the left, and on this side you have New York. So, it's kind of odd, but you know what? It is interesting because, look, you got New York, you got this area of London, and then over here you got Paris, France, right over there. Here's the construction work on the back side. They still have all the scrims up. The door over here is closed, as you can see. This one over here is still open. But I did see what looked like concrete on this side of the wall here. On the side of the building, I should say. 
Still have a lot of areas that need to be fixed, but all in all, it looks like they're still doing a lot of good progress on this. Happy preschool now enrolling. Just look at this detail work, it is impressive. As you can see right there on the side, they have painted on the window there the Secret Life of Pets off the leash coming soon. So, this is what it looks like further back for Secret Life of Pets. Remember when all the construction walls were over here and they had the the theater there, the Globe Theater, and how it was saying it's going to be closed and Secret Life was coming here? Yep. It's pretty crazy to think that over a year ago, this was not here. That is crazy. If you look back at my old vlogs, you'll see where they had the destruction of the Globe Theater here. and. <laughs> it was unbelievable just to see that like at one point it looked like a part of the theater like they had tossed it on its side It looked like part of the theater was on its side. It was really really weird But now we have this monstrosity in its place. So that is you know, Like just amazing that this has gone up so quickly. You know what I mean? This still looks pretty cool It's gonna be well lit here too because there has been any good lighting over here for a while so So that whole process guys took about two years to build that is incredible and I can't wait to write it and I can't wait to see my friends who are working there on that note thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video and let me just say that took a while because I had to go through every single one of my updates to see if I could find anything regarding the construction work and destruction of Globe Theater and all that so <laughs> it was a long process and a lot of footage to go through. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other vlogs here on YouTube as well as my other channels. The Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video as well as my P.O. Box address. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And the scenes they see in Hollywood. In those videos, I was in Hollywood. Right now, I'm at home at the Comic Corner. All the comics right there. <laughs> that, my friends, is a wrap. See you all next time.